Okay guys, just gonna give you a little video here on what I think of this Benza after having carried it for about two weeks now, probably more. Uh, the small micarta Sabenza, in my opinion, is a fantastic everyday carry knife. I have been carrying it every day since I've gotten it, and it's just a joy to carry. I'm just going to give you guys a size comparison before I forget. There's Mini Griptilian, and there's the Delica, all end to end. So, as you can see, Mini Griptilian is slightly shorter than the small Sabenza, and the Delica is slightly taller. As for open, hopefully you guys can get a good look at that. But looks like the small Sabenza is actually slightly longer than the Delica, probably because of the blade. And I think the I think the blade is 2.99 inches, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I'll probably annotate it if I remember. But it's just a perfect everyday carry length. It fits very nice in the hands. Get a nice solid grip on it. Speaking of solid, this knife is really solid. There's no flex in the handles whatsoever. Uh, let me see. Um, let's talk about the blade. Came razor sharp. Nice uh, fair polish on the edge. So it made a great slicer, and let me just demonstrate something for you real quick. It does have a very high hollow grind. So one way to demonstrate the grind of a knife, stab it through a piece of paper. And as you can see, there's a spine, and it tapers down to a real fine point. And what that means is you can sharpen that edge right up until the spine, basically, and it'll stay razor sharp. Uh, let's see, the thumb stud uh, is pyramid, it's pyramid thumb stud, and it functions very well. I thought it was going to be kind of slippery to get a hold on to at first, but it is not whatsoever. It's really easy to get to with that cutout in the handle, nice and easy to open. Let me move these out of the frame real quick, there you go. Okay. Let's see, micarta inlays, if you don't know what micarta is, it's not soft or anything, it's an epoxy filled uh, canvas, linen, or paper, and so it's nice and hard, and let me get a close up there, you can s this is canvas uh, micarta, it does provide a good amount of grip, it's basically like G10, if you guys can hear that, it's got like a plasticky type uh, sound to it. I think the appearance of this micarta is very very nice, very appealing. Uh, you can see a few scratches on my pocket clip there from Carrie. Not a big deal to me, I think it shows character. This is not going to be by any means a safe queen. I like to use my knives, that's exactly what I bought this for, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it at all. I don't like to just have knives sit there and not do anything. Very functional. Again, back to the blade. Uh, the spine is rounded, which is very nice. If you want to choke up real high in the blade, get your thumb behind that. Feels really nice in your thumb. Uh, jimping, very functional. I don't see what people complain about. It's very, very functional, very grippy. It's very nice. Let's see what else we have to talk about. The lanyard, the little new style lanyard. This is very nice. I think it's uh, pretty functional in my opinion, seeing as though I haven't taken it off yet, which I do with pretty much every lanyard that are on knives. Uh, very easy to get out of the pocket with that lanyard on, that's why I left it there. You can see more smudge and scratch on there. Um, yeah, so it the lanyard's held on there by the little pin, lanyard pin, so it swivels around in there as you can see and I believe if you undo the lanyard then that pin will uh, not fall out I believe with the older models the pin would just slide right out if you undo the lanyard so that's something to note Zippo this knife that if you're watching this please uh, uh, 
comment on if that will or will not fall out, that'd be a good help. Well, of course, I'd, I would find out by myself, but that'd just be a nice reminder. Uh, it is held together with uh, hex, hex screws, hex keys. That's what it takes. Uh, three of them, so there's three, uh, three points of contact. Uh, backstop, a pillar, and the pivot screw. Speaking of the blade and the pivot, there is a pivot bushing in there so you could tighten down this screw as tight as it'll go and the blade will still move freely. So it's very closely machined and really close fittings. Of course it's got bronze or phosphor bronze bushings I think. I know it has some type of bronze bushing as you can see in there hopefully. Very smooth. Uh, when I do take this knife apart, I'll be putting that Chris Reeve fluorinated grease in there. Uh, pocket clip, I don't think I've spoken to that yet. There is a secondary notch, and it is very functional. Grabbing onto the upper lip of your pocket, and keeping it there, so it will not slide past that, unless you want to pull it out of your pocket, of course. And titanium pocket clip works very well, you don't, do have to get a bit of pressure to pull that up but it's not hard to slip in your pocket at all it's very nice bead blast finish does show wear but it's not a big deal you can always get it refinished by Chris Reeve for under thirty bucks if I'm not mistaken very very nice fit and finish uh, if anybody knows what those numbers in there are I'm not quite sure and I always forget to do research on it but if you know what that is, uh, please let me know. Those numbers on each side. Uh, lock bar. Gauge is about 60 to 65 percent, I'd say. And, uh, very nice. Not too hard to uh, disengage and not too easy to move over on accident. Uh, ball de detent is very nice. Won't accidentally come open at all unless you use a lot of force and swing this thing around just a great knife if you ever have a chance to look at this at a local knife shop or anything I suggest you do so it's very nice fit and finish is just excellent I don't think I've showed you the tolerances yet and the blade centering as you can see it's on like a hair from each scale the blade and Blade centering, perfect. It's a great knife. So, I don't think I've missed anything. And, yeah, that's basically all I have to say about it at this point. Just been a joy to carry. It's a great knife. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I always appreciate your comments and everything. So, uh, leave one if, if you have anything to say. Um... That's just my two cents on this knife at this point in time. If you have any questions or want to see anything else, please leave a comment. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.